Hi, I'm Carl, and today I'm going to show you how I make my paper cartridges for the 44 caliber cap and ball revolvers. First, I used tea bag paper filter. Um, it works really good. It's sturdy. I used to use cigarette rolling papers. These right here, but this burns a lot better. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need tea bag paper, and then a tire pressure gauge where you take the insides out and make a mandrel which is what you're going to use to form the paper cartridge and you're going to need a glue stick tacky glue and glue, hot glue gun and I'll run you through oh yeah and we'll be using GoX black powder 30 grains okay first you'll take your um, the paper and you want to get the yeah, glue stick and just get a uh, glue just on the edge right here and then you're going to take your tire pressure gauge homemade mandrel here and roll this into a um, to a formed uh, as you can see like so then what you want to do, you want to push the uh, the paper up and over probably about, I mean about an eighth of an inch. And just fold it in like, like this. Fold it in really good. Then you want to take your uh, hot glue gun. Put a little bit of hot glue on the ball and a little bit on that. And then you want to press... Press and hold for about 30 seconds or so till the glue sets. And if I did this right, I'll be able to pull the mandrel out without it sticking or anything. And next step, you want to use 30 grains of black powder. This is already measured out for 30 grains. You want to carefully pour it into here, into your cartridge. Then you can use a pen or or something just to kind of pack the uh, the powder down a little bit. Then next, take your tacky glue. I put a little bit on the end of a popsicle stick here, just a little bit here. And then you want to grab your paper cartridge and just pinch it right where the powder um, is right there and give it a twist, give it another little twist. Then what I do, I put a little bit of the tacky glue on my finger and get a twist in there really good so that gets good and dry. And after you get several of those made, twisted and that glue dries. This one's already dry. Because that one's clipped, and you just clip the tails off. And there's your paper cartridge. They um, they work really good. They burn up really good. You don't have to, you can nitrate the paper if you want. I don't, and I shoot cylinder after cylinder, and been doing it this way for about two years now. Um, let's go through another one so you get to see how I'm I'm doing this. Okay, let's get another paper. The glue stick, glue the uh, just the uh, end here. You don't have to use a lot, just enough so it sticks and dries. It all burns up when um, when it ignites. Then you just roll it, and then just push this forward. And it's kind of a little spring action in here when I took the insides out, which kind of concaves when you push it onto the ball. So it kind of cups it, which makes perfect for 
for this. So you in, push this up to about right there. Fold all that in. And then put just a little bit of glue on the ball. Put it right here. And then push down the ball. Push and hold for about 30, 35 seconds till it sets. And pull that out. And measure out 30 grains of 3F G black powder. Carefully pour it into the paper cartridge. Use the end of a pin or something to kind of pack the powder down a little bit. Then grab it and take it up right where the gunpowder ends there. Give it a little tight twist. Put a little tacky glue. And twist, twist, twist. There you go. And let that dry and then cut the tails off. And before you know it, you'll have a handful of paper cartridges to take to the range and go shooting makes it a lot easier to load your cap and ball revolver. Um, I hope this helps out. This is the way I do it. It works and um, makes it a lot easier and a lot of fun. The more time shooting, the more fun. Alright, thank you for watching.